March 20th. I'm out here on the St. Joe River. We had some fun today. We got some live bait. We're gonna try to chase some catfish early. I know we're early, so who knows what's gonna happen. Just gonna kind of take a break from the steelhead. It's gonna be a long day. Yeah, we're gonna try to go after some catfish. See what happens today. So first things first, and a lot of people don't realize this when you're catfishing, is the hardest part of catfishing isn't the catfishing. It's getting the bait. So it's early. I got a little bit of everything. I got some red wigglers. I got some I'm trying to break my GoPro. I got some red wigglers. And I've got uh, some wax worms, some small night crawlers. We're gonna try a little bobber fishing. Really don't need a lot. Maybe six or seven bluegills, good sized bluegills. This time of year I don't like to run big baits, so we'll chunk them up pretty small and see what happens. So we're gonna start up here in this little cove, warmer water. We're at, wow, 47 degree water temperature. It's a lot higher than I thought it was gonna be. So we're at 47 degree water temperature and uh, Throw some baits up in here and see what happens. All right, I don't know what you guys can see there. Let's see what we got for some goodies here. Just really got these packaged up nice there at the gas station. Holy smokes. Start with the old red wiggers. Look at that price. Holy shit. $5.25. Everything is expensive now. Go in the backyard with a shovel and start digging these up at that price. Some baits in the water. There must be a little something, some structure there they're sitting on. something going on there oh, he's just sitting there holding it that makes sense all right this makes me feel a lot better so my biggest fear is not getting bait when we come out here because it's so cold and uh, these are absolutely perfect cut bait for catfish perfect size Got it. A few more of those and we'll be ready to roll. All I know is I wish the gas station sold cheap sunglasses where I got bait at because this sucks. The sun is bright. Oh yeah, that's the spot right there. We're in the money now. That's going to be a good drift. I don't know what it is about bluegill fishing. It brings out the inner child in me every time. <laughs> Maybe it's the idea of coming out here and catching these fish on its ultralight gear and then taking that bait and putting on these magnum rods and really in river monsters. I don't know. But it definitely brings out the inner child in me. Well, I'd say two more. We're ready to fish for the big boys. That's why I use these cricket hooks. Easy to get out. Not that it matters. We're going to chop them up 10 minutes anyways. All right. Let's get back over that stick. Drift over it again. One more. Lip hooked. And let's try to get one more. I'm gonna do some fishing. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. oh, here we go. He found it. And gone. And that'll do us. Man, this water is clear this time of year. Probably speed boaters are making sour pollutant. Oh, that's a little chunker. All right, we got a good 10 in there. Yeah, hell, let's put one more in there. Catfish time to wake up. Holy crap. And All right, I don't know why you guys can see this, but kind of show you what I'm looking for. Right up here, we've got one of the bigger holes on an outside bend. And uh, we pulled a 42 pounder out of here last year. It's probably midsummer, so the, the fish are already moved to deeper holes. But I'm hoping that I can catch a part where the sun's coming down and warming the water up. So we're already at 48 degrees. It was 47 degrees where we were before. So now we're just looking. I got bottom lock on, I'm trying to see if I mark anything on the bottom. Maybe there might be a fish right there. Yep, there's two little fish, nothing big. These weights. I would say it's probably a three ounce day. Let's find us a three ouncer. How much in the way of three ounces? All right, it's a four ounce day, like I said. Doing something new this year. Same setup. Gamagatsu ADOT circle hook. But we're going to try a Versa rattle this year. Let's kind of see what happens. And we got a 35 pound mono. We went to 60 pound braid this year. And our slides. What are you doing? Why are you peeping? Stop peeping. All right, so we got a slide swivel. And that's it. Pretty simple setup. Let's see if this Versa rattle works. Got this from my boy Spencer from River Certified. Let's get our little weaker one here. And we're not going after little fish, so we're gonna go big head chunks. Turn your heads, kids. It's gonna get ugly. First chunker. 2022 right in the junk oh yeah she sit nice on the bottom all right First catfish of 2022. Here we go. Didn't take long. We're out in the main channel. We've been here four minutes. Decent head shakes, but a lot of current here, so I don't know how big this fish is. But it's definitely a flathead. Took it down like a flathead. Quick pop. And then just slowly went down. This is almost the exact spot we pulled a 42 pounder out last year. And he just came off. Ugh. Well, that's disappointing. So we'll put it back out there and see what happens. You don't want to catch the first fish, anyways. That's bad juju.
fish on a video. Just shy of 29 and running at 29 inches. So, beautiful fish. Really, really pretty fish. All right. Typical flathead bite. We'll pop and then quick takedown. Just rip and drag. That's a bigger fish. That's the one we were waiting for. Just ripping. This fish took 150 yards. Nice rolling. Nice swimming up river. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. This one I've been waiting all day for. Yeah, I can't even move him. It's ridiculous. Can't even move this fish. This could be a 30. Oh yeah, you see him down there. It's rolling. Big fish. Big fish. It's 
steal my other wine. Stay buttoned up. A lot of short hooks. Short hits, I should say. You guys gusto out of them. Starting to come up now. Yeah, he's still kind of close to the other line. Like that too much. He runs. Oh, yeah, he's right in by the line. Oh, yeah. No, he's all in by the line. Oh, we need to move these over here. fish in. I don't know what's going on here. Tail hooked or just wrapped up? It's not as big as I thought. No, he's just... It's like he rolled it in a hook, hit him in the body. Now well, we're pulling him in backwards. in it. Decent fish. Oh, he's all marred up from his line. Damn it. Yep, got him in the tail. Wrapped up in it, ripped the hook out. 